In this video, we will show you how to manage items in ETP Storefront. Item Entry, Quantity Edit, and Item Deletion In ETP Storefront, we can add items to a bill in three ways. Firstly, we can add an item by scanning the barcode or QR code, or by using any contactless method. Secondly, we can type the item number in the Item Number field. Thirdly, we can search for an item with the Product Lookup function. In the Product Lookup window, we can search for an item by its item number, item name, or other fields that can be configured in the system. Next, if we want to change the quantity of an item, we can edit the Quantity field at the item line. Furthermore, if we want to delete an item from a bill, we can simply select and delete the item. That is how we can add items, edit the item quantities, and delete items from a bill in ETP Storefront. Paired Items In ETP Storefront, we can add items that are sold in pairs, such as shoes, to a bill. Firstly, let us scan the barcode of just one shoe of a pair of shoes. As you can see, when we scan the barcode of only one shoe of a pair of shoes, it is counted as only 0.5 pair, or half a pair. Let us scan the barcode of the other shoe of the same pair of shoes. After scanning the barcode of the other shoe, it is now counted as one pair. This ensures that both shoes belong together as a pair. Items with Serial Numbers In ETP Storefront, we can add items with serial numbers, such as watches, to a bill. After scanning the barcode of a watch that has a serial number, a lot number browser pops up. In this browser, we can scan the serial number of that watch to check if it is valid before adding it to this bill. Next, let us add another watch. Besides scanning the serial number, we can also use the Show Lot function to show all valid serial numbers for that watch. Depending on the company policy, this function can be enabled or disabled in the system. For now, let us select a serial number from the list. As you can see, we've successfully added two watches with serial numbers to this bill. Items with Batch Numbers in ETP Storefront, we can add items with batch numbers, such as perfumes, to a bill. After scanning the barcode of a perfume that has a batch number, a lot number browser pops up. In this browser, we can scan the batch number of that perfume to check if it is valid before adding it to this bill. Next, let's add another perfume from the same batch. Besides scanning the batch number, we can also use the Show Lot function to show all valid batch numbers for that perfume. Depending on the company policy, this function can be enabled or disabled in the system. For now, let us select the same batch number as the previous perfume from the list. As you can see, we've successfully added perfumes with the same batch number to this bill. Item Lookup, Balance Quantity, and Style Items in ETP Storefront, we can use the detailed Product Lookup function under the Lookup interface to search for an item and view its inventory. As you can see, there are many criteria here we can use to search for an item. Let us search for a style item and view its balance quantity and details. Because this is a style item, we can also view the balance quantities of other items in the same family in a matrix format. For this family, the matrix format is based on color and size. In addition, we can also view the details of this item. With ETP Storefront, we can manage different types of items with ease.